So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the different lighting options in Video Machinima, right? So with that being said, let's get started. I'm going to go to my samples here and I will load up the astronaut and I will switch this to ray tracing real time. And again, I'm just moving using my WASD here, right click and then WASD, hold your right click. And we're going to change our zoom speed or move speed by just using the scroll wheel. So here is our astronaut right here. And let's break down the scene real quick. We have a dome light right here, and I can kind of hide that if I need to. And you're going to see that everything's going to get dark. So what I will do is just delete that because again, we're going to take a look at the different lighting options that's inside Machinima. Okay, so with that being said, let's go to our top left. We'll create a light and let's look at our distant light. Now this distant light is similar to the sun uh, or a directional light if you're used to that. Pretty much you're gonna mimic like the sun. So I will kind of twirl this down so we have a bigger space here. So it's pretty much just blasting light from there. Uh, additionally, you can rotate this around to change how it looks. So if I go to, I'm going to select it right now. And if I go to the rotate button right here, you're gonna see that it's gonna start to change the shadows. So pretty much we're just kind of going around the astronaut right here. Additionally, if you want to mess around with the angle, similar to other 3D packages, you can actually decrease or increase the softness of the shadow by messing around with the angle right here. And it's pretty much the same for all of the lights in NVIDIA Machinima. So let's go like 0.5 or something like that. Additionally, you can change the color of your light by using this tool right here. If you want it redder, you know, that red looks pretty cool. Matches the red background there. But if you want it, you know, white, then you can do that as well. If you want, you can change the color temperature mode. If you want to control it by the color temp, you can do that as well. So if you go like tungsten, you go 3200. Or if you go like daylight, you go 65. So you can, you have that control here as well. Additionally, you can change the exposure here if you want, but totally up to you. And also the intensity, if you want that higher or lower. Okay, so we will delete that distant light. That is pretty much your distant light right now. Okay, so the next light we're gonna take a look at is the sphere light. All right, that looks cool. <laughs> it looks like it's coming from the bottom there. I'm gonna press W and I'm going to move that up. I'm gonna move it to the left. Now, the easiest way for me to explain the sphere light is think of like a china ball. It's not necessarily a light bulb or a point light. Think of it as a china ball, because by changing the radius of this sphere light, you're actually affecting your shadow. So I'll show you that right now. The smaller the source is, the harder the shadow is gonna be. You can really see that right here. And again, the bigger the radius is, the softer the shadow is gonna be. So again, it's like china ball, if you're familiar with that. Additionally, if you want it to act like a point light, you can do that as well if you click on the streetest point and that's going to change it to similar to a point light so you do have that option of using it treating it as a point but if, you know if you're trying to do photography or cinematography work the softball look and it gives you a nice reflection there as well you can move it around it gives that pretty nice soft shadow in it so i'm gonna go 150 and now you can really see how soft this light is because that thing is humongous move left right there you know that's just beautiful right there looks really nice and if i treat it as point you're going to see that that shadow just becomes really hard so you have that option right here pretty nice let's see it in path tracing and you can also see it in path tracing mode obviously i'm going to start slowing down here um and again this doesn't look good because we didn't really change the render settings as far as path tracing go so this is by default but to be honest this still look pretty freaking good so let's go ahead and uh, change it so I get my FPS back. But this light right here is super cool. Let's delete it. Let's create another one. This one is direct light, similar to other packages. You're probably familiar with this. So we'll bring it up. So this is probably my favorite light anywhere in any package that I use because it mimics like a softbox. Or it actually mimics anything and everything you want to. You're talking about kinos, talking about softbox, you're talking about butterflies. You can pretty much do that all with the rec light. So if I want to, I can actually uh, increase the height and the width of this. And, and by doing so, that's going to make the shadow softer. So if I double this up by like 200 by 200, you're gonna see that our shadows are much nicer. So you're kind of mimicking, you know, like a light bouncing or actually shooting through some diffusion, you know, cause you get that nice soft light to it. And additionally for direct light, you can use an HRI. So if I go right here and I'll go to Omniverse, if I go to localhost and I'm gonna go to NVIDIA 
and let's go to assets skies and let's go get a cloudy one i can load up an hdri and this is going to change the color of our light you can see it changed it in there additionally the reflections is actually going to show up because this technically just became like a texture light if that makes any sense now this is actually projecting the texture that you put in in here to the actual actor so you can see that right there that looks really nice so I'll go ahead and exit out of that and you're gonna see it's just gonna change it to white. Again, this is probably my favorite light anywhere I go because it mimics, again, you know, a butterfly or a softbox or a keynote. And if you wanna do like a over the top, you can do that as well. You know, so yeah, I love this look, absolutely. And we'll switch it again to path trace and you can really see that really nice and again this is default i didn't even change any of the path trace settings yet so that's why it looks kind of funny in some area but man <laughs> this is the power of omniverse right here and this is on one rtx 3060 card that i'm using this right here this is not even on a 3090 or an rtx a6000 this is just on a rtx 3060 which is the cheapest one you can get and additionally you can change the color similar to pretty much all the lights in here if you want to and you can change the temperature as well and the exposure and so on and so forth. Let's go back to the create here. Let's create a light. Now we're going to talk about the disc light. The disc light is similar to the rec light. The only difference is, you guessed it, this is shaped like a circle or round. So I know some uh, photographers right now really like this light disc. Some, some of the LED panels you can get are actually in a circular kind of shape. So this is pretty much it. It's just like a rectangular light. Uh, the only difference is you can't load textures as of right now, January 2022. But again, the more radius you give, the softer shadows you're going to get. And you can see that on his foot right there. And let's go change it to 100. You're going to get a little bit more harsher shadows there. Pretty nice light. And let's delete that. And let's create another one. We will go with the cylinder light. Now this one right here, um, if you're familiar with Kino tubes or Kino flow tubes, this is, or actually nowadays, the LED lights are pretty darn popular now and this is what that kind of mimics you know if you have like a fluorescent light or led tubes this is what it kind of reminds me of in real life and again it's it's the same as the rec light and the disc light it's just pretty much shaped differently and obviously the reflection is going to be shaped like that and it's pretty nice depending on what you're trying to do i see this a lot in music videos nowadays because they love those tube lightings and they're getting cheaper by the minute uh, similarly you can change the colors of this again similar to other ones but again you cannot load a texture in here all right all right so bigger the length softer the shadows same exact deal that looks fantastic Let's create another light right here and we will look at the dome light which we all saw earlier now whenever we choose the dome light nothing happens and that's because we don't have an hdri loaded in so think of a dome light as a sky sphere if i go to the texture file and browse here i can switch to say the lakeside one and now this is going to mimic the light that we just chose so you can see that right now again i can see that reflection on the uh on the astronaut here and if i want to i can actually crank that intensity up to like 2k so again, you can see that HDRI really working. And additionally, this actually opens up an HDRI sky. So if I delete my background right here, you're now gonna see that we're actually in that environment. I'm gonna press G to hide that uh, the grid. And now we're in this environment and this looks freaking amazing, even in real time. If we go to path tracing, this is even gonna look so much better. And again, this is on a single RTX 3060, the NVIDIA Omniverse supports multiple GPUs. So if you have like two RTX A6000, oh man, that would look freaking amazing. So here we are in path tracing mode right now, and this is looking pretty darn good. All right, so that's pretty much all I got for y'all today. I hope to see y'all in the next video.